we now move on to question five question five find the seventh term of the sequence two five ten seventeen twenty six and so on and so forth well if we study this sequence very well we'll be able to establish a kind of relationship that gives rise to the next term what i mean is this uh, we have 2 and then we have 5 then we have 10 then we have 17 then we have 26 and so on and so forth now <clears throat> between these 2 between these 2 and these 5 there is a difference of 3 there is a difference of 3 a difference of 3 between these 5 and these 10 there is a difference of 5 between these 10 and these 17 there is a difference of 7. Between this 17 and this 26, there is a difference of 9. If you look at the differences that we have, the differences constitute odd numbers. So definitely, for the next time, there is going to be a difference of 11. 3 plus 2, that's 5. Plus 2, that's 7. Plus 2, that's 9. I mean, 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 2, 7. 7 plus 2, 9. 9 plus 2 is going to be 11. And if it's going to be 11, that means if I add 26 to this 26 to this 11, I'm going to have 37. So the term here is going to be 37. 37. And then for the next one again, there will be a difference of 13. You know, odd numbers. So 37 again plus 13 is going to be 50. It's going to be 50. It's going to be 50. It's going to be 50. So 50 is the seventh term. The, if you look at it this way, term 1, term 2, term 3, term 4, term 5, term 6, and then term 7. So the fifth term is, and the seventh term is 50. The correct answer is option C. Is option C. That's not the only way of doing this problem, of solving this problem. Uh, if you are a good mathematician from experience, if you study 2, 5, 10, 17, and 26, you will see that this conforms to a formula that term n is <coughs> term n is equal to n square plus one n square plus one uh like the first term there is one square plus one which is one plus one which is two and that is two the second term there is equal to two square plus one that's going to be four plus one which is five the next term there is three square plus one and that's going to be 9 plus 1, which is equal to 10. The next term is going to be 4 square plus 1. That is 16 plus 1, which is 17. The next term, term 5, is 5 square plus 1, which is 25 plus 1, which is 26. The next term, term 6, is 6 square plus 1. That's going to be 36. 36 plus 1 which is 37 and the next term term 7 is going to be 7 square plus 1 which is equal to 49 plus 1 and that gives us 50 so we can see from here that the seventh term is 50 the seventh term is 50 if you are able to think of this formula very easily the correct option is um, option C option C